Kinji, I'm glad you're able to join us today. We start with the ANC Treasurer General, Paul Machatile, and the Gauteng Premier, David Mukuro. You've just paid a visit to the home of Tabo Masebe, the former communications spokesperson, former head of communications in Gauteng, and acting director general in Gauteng, passed away over the weekend. Our reporter in Bali Titani is at the family home for you now. In Bali, good afternoon to you. What's the scene there? Well, Stephen, mourners continue to make their way here to the home of Tabo Masebe, who indeed passed away at the weekend. Of course, you would know uh, that he was the acting director general of the province in Gauteng. And of course, this has come as a shock to many South Africans uh, who have been continuing uh, to show their support and love for the family who has since seen the passing of Tabo Masebe. Of course, you would know he has been one who is a great communicator and played a major role as well as in the ANC Youth League. But just to give us more about his passing, we are now joined by the Treasury General of the ANC, Mr. Paul Mashadile. Uh, Treasurer General, I just want to start from here. As the media, um, it's been a great loss to you as the ANC. Uh, condolences to you and your party. Indeed, it is a, a great loss to, to all of us, uh, to the family in particular. Uh, that's why we are here to convey our sincere condolences uh, to the entire family, uh, his children, their mother, his sisters, and we want to say may his soul rest in eternal peace. Uh, Comrade Tabo was a great leader. Uh, not only was he a good communicator, but he was very diligent, he was hardworking, uh, he bore no grudges with anybody, always supportive, even with the media. Uh, he would always make sure he relates well with members of the media. And his uh, role the past uh, few years as the acting director general in Gauteng, he's done very well. So it's indeed a very great loss to all of us. Now, you have come here to pass your condolences to the family. If we could ask, how is the family feeling about the passing of Tabo? How are they holding up? I'm sure they are completely devastated by the shock that has come to many of us. Indeed, they are also still uh, uh, very shocked uh, because Comrade Tabo was sick last year uh, in December for a while. This year, really, it was like he's now okay. Uh, so that's, that's why it came as such a shock, because nobody was uh, really expecting it. Um, but we are obviously, with our visit here, we are comforting uh, one another, not just the family. As we have seen, there's all the leaders of, of the South African Youth Congress and the Youth League are here in big numbers. Um, and, you know, through that, we'll uh, comfort one another, but comfort in particular uh, the family and I said to them inside they were not speaking that will obviously uh, remember his good deeds you know when somebody who does well uh, do good things in life will al always hold on to those memories and try to emulate some of the good things that uh, he has done uh, and, and continue to serve our people uh, as, he, as he did all his life TG, do we know uh, what was the cause of death um, for the acting DG? Uh, as you were saying that he was sick last year, um, you know, do we know what was the cause of death? And do we know in terms of the preparations for the family when it comes to the memorial service and the funeral, when is that likely to take place? Well, uh, we know that last year he was struggling with asthma uh, when he ended up in hospital for, for three weeks. Uh, we don't know exactly the cause of this death. Uh, the speculation that it could be uh, an attack of asthma, but I'm sure uh, we'll get more details from the family. Uh, but as I said, you know, this year people, all the friends thought, you know, uh, Tabo is well, is, you know, is not sick, and, and so on. Uh, as far as arrangements are concerned, the family is planning a memorial service for Thursday and the funeral on Saturday here in Kempton Park. They will release further details after they've consulted with the Premier of Houghton uh, because the Premier will make 
further announcements uh, later about the nature of, of the funeral. What does this loss mean um, to the ANC as a party? I mean, one would say that he was a really skilled individual mm. who played a major role, especially in terms of trying to train more others to be just like him, especially within the party. What does his passing mean for the party? Well, we are in a period of organizational renewal, renewing the ANC. So we're really looking forward to these young uh, leaders, the young generation, uh, to be able to come forward and assist not only in rebuilding the ANC, but in saving our people in various uh, spheres of, of our public life. Uh, as we all know that Comrade Tabo was the acting DG and was doing very well, still young. So, yeah, really, it's, it's a big loss uh, to us as a movement, to our people, to lose somebody as young as, as he was. Um, and we will feel this loss as we go forward because we really do need this young generation to take the lead. Talking about young people and the Youth League, we've also seen another death coming out of KZN. Uh, we know that the likes of Mfundo Mukwena, uh, who was uh, brutally murdered. Um, obviously, we know that KZN politics and ANC also is you know, an area that has also been riddled by a lot of violence. What is your message to the family of Mfundo, who has also passed away? We are very saddened by the death of Mfundo. Uh, we have conveyed already our condolences to the family and uh, members of the ANC in KZN. And I've asked uh, our spokesperson to issue a statement. I will be visiting uh, KZN on Thursday until Saturday just to meet with members of the ANC, encourage them to work with communities that are affected uh, uh, by floods, but also, you know, to emphasize amongst our members and communities to resolve our differences peacefully. Um, there is nothing to be gained by violence. So we condemn strongly the death of Mfundo and we condemn the use of violence when there are differences. We would like our people to learn to engage, to converse, to have dialogue and, and resolve their problems uh, peacefully. We call on the security forces to do everything in their power to bring the perpetrators to book. Talking about either a a a ANC matters, uh, we know that uh, there's the issue of Batabile Zamini. And um, speaking to Gwen Ramakopa last week, she was saying that this is a matter that will be discussed at the NEC. How soon uh, can we expect the ANC to be dealing uh, with this issue? You know, you have other issues of step aside as well. We've seen it in, in Eteguini. We've also seen it in Mpumalanga. How soon is the ANC expected to deal uh, with this issue, plaguing it when it comes to step aside and Batabile Zamini? Well, the NEC in, in its last meeting asked the officials to deal with the matter. Uh, we will do so. Uh, the NEC is only meeting in June, uh, but the officials will meet in the course of this week. And uh, one of the issues that we'll look at is this matter so that we can resolve it uh, for the sake of Comrade Patabile herself, who wants the closure on the matter, and also for the public to know what uh, is the way forward. Uh, the officials did ask me the last time to have a discussion with Comrade Batabile, which I have already done, and we've agreed to meet again, and I will report to the officials uh, on the way forward. So the matter will be attended to. My last question to you. ANC Eastern Cape is expected to hold a conference, but there still seems to be no finality in that number. Can we see a conference this weekend in the Eastern Cape? Well, I, I was speaking this morning to the provincial chairperson of, of the Eastern Cape, uh, Comrade uh, Oscar Mabuyani, to say we have not finalized our report uh, at the national level. Normally, when there are conferences of this nature, uh, our organizing department and the National Dispute Resolution Committee will deal with the issues that come from branches, resolve them. They have promised me that I will receive the report this evening and look at it. Um, the likelihood is that if there are a few disputes that we have to attend to uh, in the next uh, few days, we will then ask the province to shift their conference to next week. Uh, because you don't want to go to conference and then 
you still have uh, unresolved disputes and you know people take you to court as much as we'd like to have the conference sooner let's attend to the problems that the branches are raising so that by the time we get to conference there aren't many differences and, and disputes and people are arguing about credentials same thing like we did with Mpumalang we have to shift their conference by three weeks and that allowed us to deal with all the challenges and by the time the conference came we were able to have a smooth conference so with the Eastern Cape we'll do the same and uh, make sure we deal with all the disputes that have been raised and allow them to go to conference probably in a week's time. All right. Thank you very much. Of course, that is uh, the ANC Treasury General Paul Mashadile Stephen talking about the passing of Thabo Masebe, the acting DG of the Gauteng government, but also addressing other issues within the ANC. Ali Tatani, thank you very much indeed. Very comprehensive interview there. Very interesting to see those conversations. Of course, Tabo Masebe, I think, is going to be very, very fondly remembered for his efforts to improve communication.